Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will learn about the ambiguous grammars. Ambiguous grammars means if you have, if you are deriving a string from the grammar, and if you find more than one derivation possible for the same string with the help of the grammar, with the help of the same grammar, you will say that uh, your grammar is ambiguous. Okay. For example, if we have a grammar S produces small a capital S or S capital uh, small a and then this small a and the string that we have to derive is small a small a for this we can use a s production s produces a s and then this s can be changed to a or another another thing that is possible s produces s a and this s can be changed to a so you see that there are two derivations possible these are two different trees so two derivation trees are possible or two derivations are possible then we will say that the grammar is ambiguous. Okay, let's take another example to understand this. Let's say we have S produces small a capital S small b capital S or small b capital S small a capital S and epsilon. And if we have to derive a string a b a b. Fine, so we are taking this one. A S B S production. So this production and this S can be B S A S means this production and then this S as epsilon, this S as epsilon and this S as epsilon. Another thing that which is possible here S produces A S B S fine and then we change this one or let's say we are der deriving this as epsilon and for this one A S B S so this S is changing with the this production then this S is epsilon and this S is epsilon so if you see that these two pass trees are different or these two derivation trees are different so if two more two or more than two derivation trees are possible we will say that the grammar given is ambiguous. Let's take another example to understand this. Let's say we have R produces R plus R or R R or R star or A or B or C. This is C not the epsilon. And if we have to represent this string a plus bc so for this r equals to r plus r this production for this r let's say a and for this r let's say r r this r b and for this r c so a plus bc Another pass tree which is possible for this or another uh, syntax tree which is possible or any derivation tree which is possible R R R produces R R and for this R R produces R plus R this R produces A this R produces B and this R produces C so A plus B C so these two derivation trees are different so since two or more than two derivation trees are possible for this we will say that the grammar is ambiguous. Fine. Now, how do we convert this ambiguous grammar to the unambigu un unambiguous grammar? And what is the need of this uh, conversion? This first that we will be confused to what, which production to use for the derivation. So, if we do not want to get confused about what which production should be used for the derivation, we must perform the uh, or we must convert the un uh, uh, ambiguous grammar to the unambiguous grammar. So there are certain steps by which we can convert the ambiguous grammar to the unambiguous grammar. For example, if we have a grammar E produces E plus E, we have a grammar E produces E multiplied with E and E produces ID. This is the am ambiguous grammar. You can see with the help of an example, if we have ID plus ID multiplied with ID, so E produces E plus E production we are using for this ID for this E multiplied with 
e e produces id and e produces id so id plus id multiplied with id other uh, derivation tree which is possible will be e produces e multiplied with e for this e e plus e okay so this e produces id this e produces id and this e produces id so you can see that id plus id multiplied with id so there are certain problems associated with these grammars means those are which are the ambiguous grammars and we must take some action just to convert these grammars to the unambiguous grammar so uh, what what may be the step to perform this uh, or re remove this ambiguity there are two things that we should take care of for such grammars which uh, which are given like this e produces e plus e e produces e multiplied with e and e produces id here if you see that we are actually de defining the rule for writing the arithmetic expression in which we will have plus and multiplication so what the rule says that if we have something like 2 plus 3 plus 4 so what do we perform first we will we must first perform this plus 2 plus 3 and then whatever is the answer is added to this 4 it means that this plus has higher precedence than this one okay now if we have to write the uh, uh, derivation tree for this kind of 2 plus 3 plus 4 it should be like e produces e plus e and then e plus e this e is 2 this e is 3 and this e is 4 <clears throat> so we must first perform this 2 plus 3 first and then when, when the answer comes we should perform this plus fine so it means that the tree should grow towards the left if we want to provide the left a what, what actually is the meaning of this plus having more precedence than this one that the plus operator is left associative okay the plus operator is left associative if we only have the plus symbol in the grammar so the grammar can be written as e produces e plus id or id okay so if you forget about this if you see that uh, if we, we, when we will uh, derive the tree it will grow towards the left because of this e symbol or the product, the expression can only have this two okay so it means that the expression is allowed to have only one symbol that is two but if if, if it has more than two symbols then two or more than two symbols then we e produces e plus id wherein e is uh, uh, e is growing towards the left it means at the lower level e will grow towards the lower levels fine now since we have uh, plus and multiplication both so we are writing it like e produces e plus t okay so for this way e is here e is here it is growing towards the left so we are making a left recursive grammar for this or my symbol or my string is not uh, if, if my string does not have any plus symbol in that case we can move towards the multiplication directly so e produces t wherein t produces t star f okay now why t star f and t produces t star f because here also it is moving towards the left or it is growing towards the left because multiplication symbol is also left recursive so we have to provide this symbol more precedence than uh, more precedence than this one it means left associativity so for providing the left associativity we are growing the grammar towards the left Achha. in my uh, grammar it is not essential to have plus in the multiplication my grammar can also have only one symbol that is the identifier so for that f produces only id fine now for deriving the tree let's say id plus id multiplication id let's start with e produces e plus t and then for this e since we do not have uh, uh, more than one plus so e will be derived to t and this t can be derived to f and finally this f can be derived to id okay fine after this this t so t produces t star f 
for providing this id product i am multiplied with id so t produces f then f produces id and this f can be changed to id now what uh, in this particular expression what you want that this multiplication operation should be performed first and then this addition should be performed for that to allow because multiplication is having higher precedence than the lower uh, than this plus plus operation so this multiplication should be at the lower level of the tree okay so if you see that this t multiplied with f if you say that this plus is not being performed or plus is pending until this multiplication is performed so for performing the higher priority operations the multiplication symbol should be at the lower level at the lower level in the tree so to provide that we should uh, allow this production to be at the lower levels or this multiplication production should be later than the addition productions fine so if we have like this the addition production is first then with the help of this symbol the multiplication production is written if we have more symbols for example let's say we have the exponentiation operation also so e produces e plus t you know that the exponentiation operation let's say if this cap is representing the exponentiation or let's say dollar is the symbol which is representing the exponentiation so plus is having the least precedence then followed by the multiplication and if we have the exponentiation and now see this is very interesting case whether we should write the uh, uh, left uh, left recursive production or right recursive production so if you see that if we have 2 raised to the power 3 raised to the power 4 how it is written 2 raised to the power 3 raised to the power 4 so in this case you perform 3 raised to the power 4 first and whatever is the answer is applied in the power of 2 it means the exponentiation operation is right associative so we need to write the right recursive production for this so for this f produces g dollar and f so f is going towards the right and then f produces let's say t or let's say f uh, e f g sorry and then g produces id so for providing the uh, left associativity or right associativity you will use the left recursion or the right recursion and for providing the higher precedence to the operators those operators operator production should be written at the lower level such that in the tree also they are at the lowest level because the lowest level operations are performed first followed by the upper level operations so this way we have converted the unambiguous grammar to the or oh sorry ambiguous grammar to the unambiguous grammar so there are two rules we have uh, studied here one is uh, to provide the associativity if you have to provide the left associative the grammar should become the left recursive and if you have to provide the right uh, right associativity you will write the right recursive grammar so here in this case for plus and the multiplication we have written the left recursive production for the exponentiation symbol we are writing the right recursive production now for providing the precedence the more precedence operator or the operation which is having operator which is having more precedence is represented at the lower level and the upper level productions are having the uh, less precedence so levels are assigned for providing the precedence fine now in the same grammar if we have to write for other symbols also for example we have plus also and we have minus also so what happens in the case of plus and the minus plus and minus have the same precedence similarly multiplication and division have the same precedence so for, if we have to write the grammar for all these how will it be written e produces e plus t which is for addition in the same level we are defining for e minus t so it means that plus and the minus are having the same precedence if we are defining them at the same level it means 
these are having the same precedence then t similarly for t produces t star f or t division f okay this is the separator for for having the uh, different production so first is this one and this one and then this f exponentiation is having the highest precedence so f produces g exponent f and then g and then g produces id so if the productions are at the lowest lower levels it means they are having the more precedence the symbols are having more precedence but if the production are at the same level it means that or in the production also only we are defining the different symbols here and here so plus and the minus having the same precedence multiplication and division having the same precedence okay similarly you can add three productions at the same level for the modulus operations t modulus f so this way we can provide the precedence now let's take an example and try to understand with the help of the example or we identify let us identify with the help of that example what is the precedence and associativity also so a produces a dollar b or b b produces b hash c or c and c produces c at the rate d and d and this d produces let's say id so in this production if you see that there are three operator symbols dollar hash and at the rate in this case dollar is at the upper level hash is at the lower level and at the rate is at the lowest level so in this case at the rate will have more precedence than hash which will have more precedence than dollar least precedence operator is the dollar one now if we have to see the uh, associativity it is a left recursive this is also left recursive this is also left recursive so all these symbols whether dollar or hash or at the rate all these are have are the left associative operator symbols fine so these are the left associative operator symbols now if you have to write these uh, production rules for or the uh, precedence and associativity rules for um, regular expressions so how can we write for the regular expression a regular expression the ambiguous grammar is r equals to r plus r then r r then r star and then a b c so i leave the i leave this as an assignment for you just to write the unambiguous grammar wherein you know that the closer is having the highest precedence then the concatenation and union is having the least precedence so you can write the unambiguous grammar by yourself for this now for uh, similarly for you can write it for the and or and not boolean operations and not and or so here what will happen that not will have more precedence than and 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 will have more precedence than the or or is having the least precedence so if you have to write the uh, grammar for this so e produces e or f where or is having the least precedence and then this f produces f and g or g and this g produces not of g and this what can this g will be if if not if you are not using this production then it can either be true or it can be false so this is for the boolean expression now you can see that uh, this uh, not is having highest precedence than and 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 is having more precedence than or what we are using here that e or is the left associative and is also left associative but not is not let's say we are writing not of not of x so first this not is performed once done we will be applying this not so first the right one is performed then the left one is performed 
So that's why this not is written as the right associative. Thank you.